Hello, and welcome to day four of Find Your Flow. Today's posture is Adho Mukha Svanasana, otherwise known as Downward Facing Dog. This is a very popular pose used in a lot of classes, and I will admit, at first, it was not my favorite. But I really come to learn to love this pose, and I hope that you will too. We're gonna start in a tabletop position. If you need a little extra instruction on tabletop and some modifications, please check back on day two's video. In your tabletop position, quick review. Make sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. Fingers spread nice and wide. Engaging through the belly so the core is nice and strong. Spine nice and long as you imagine the crown of your head reaching towards the ceiling and your tailbone reaching towards the back of the room. Pressing down with all parts of your hand, especially the part between your first finger and your thumb. Finding that stability in the arms and in the core. Begin curling your toes under. Now we're gonna start lifting the knees and pressing ourselves back over our heels. And slowly start straightening your legs just to the point that it feels a little uncomfortable, but you can still breathe through it. Your legs may, may not go straight and your heels might not touch the ground and that's totally fine. Just go to your comfort zone. Let your shoulders be away from your ears and let your shoulder blades be a little wide. So the eyes and the elbows are facing towards each other, but see if you can roll them a little more forward towards the top of your mat as you continue to press yourself away from your hands. Your tailbone reaching up and back. Imagine you're a dog and you're stretching your heart, melting towards the floor. If this is a little too intense, you can walk your feet out to the edge of your mat and you can bend your knees as much as you need to to find your pose. If you need a little extra, if you need a little extra stretch or a little extra strength, you can bring your feet together or you can go into a three-leg dog. So a variation of downward facing dog is where you would lift one leg up towards the ceiling, flexing strong through the foot, strong through the leg. Let your toes point down towards the floor so we don't have any external or internal rotation. We're just keeping it nice and neutral. And then trying the other side, still making sure that the weight is even in your hands and you're pressing yourself up and back in your downward facing dog. And then lowering back down. Your gaze ideally would be towards your feet or towards your knees. If it feels okay on your neck, you can even gaze towards your belly button, but try not to let your torso go too far between your arms. This pose feels so good along the back sides of your body. It's really beneficial to help open up the glutes, the hamstrings, and the calves. It also strengthens the ankles, as well as, of course, the wrists and the arms and the shoulders. It is an inversion, so it's a little tiny inversion because we're not completely balanced on our hands, but it does give you that sense of exhilaration and excitement. I know at first it can be a little bit scary, but stick with it and I promise it'll feel a lot better. Have a wonderful day practicing your variations of downward facing dog. Namaste.